Hello again, Doug Kirkbride. I uh, was out in the cornfield this afternoon on Friday and um, evaluating some corn and I ran across some corn plants that had uh, some insect feeding. Uh, here on this leaf you can see some etching. That's what I first noticed. Uh, this usually happens with small instar larvae. Uh, they're not big enough to actually chew through the entire leaf. They'll just etch at the leaf surface. Um, that's usually happening down inside the whorl uh, as they were a small worm and now this uh, leaf as they come out and unfold um, you're seeing the etching. Uh, we should be able to dig in here, find the larvae. Uh, my assumption is it's probably an uh, army worm larvae. Uh, we'll dig into this corn plant see if we can find it. Usually you can just cut, cut it off, um, get into uh, the upper part of the corn plant. Uh, typically the larvae is down in the whorl. They won't be down in the stalk yet. So you can just discard that. Just start unrolling uh, the lower leaves, looking for it. I may have cut too high. Um, you can see here on this leaf, hopefully um, on the video, a lot of moisture down there this leaf's really wet so even though the today has been in the low to middle 90s there's plenty of moisture there for uh, the larvae to be surviving actually right there he is at least one of them if we can capture it here on the video you can see the small larvae right there by my knife point let's see if we got any others in here I'll just put him on a leaf for right now. We want to come back to him. You can just continue to unfurl those leaves. Plenty of moisture in that whorl for them to survive though. There's another. So he's got a friend, we'll set him aside and let's see if we can find any others in the, in the world, this corn plant. Looks like that's probably it within this corn plant. Real small larvae, they're going to do quite a bit of feeding yet. Uh, why that's important to a grower is um, to know they're out there is they're eating leaf material. Uh, leaf material captures sunlight turns sunlight into energy, creates grain with that energy. So, um, you know, the grower wants to be mindful of what's going on out in the field and if they have to do any rescue treatment. Fortunately, a product like AgriSure Viptera controls broad lepidopteran pests like armyworm. So no worries if you've uh, planted AgriSure Viptera. I did come across this other plant um, out there in the field. You can see quite a bit more feeding uh, much more aggressive feeding. So we're going to see if we can find a larger army worm within this corn plant. Go ahead and pull that back. Just like before, just start unrolling the leaves. Keep Keep an eye out. Here you can really see hopefully on the video, a lot of moisture once again down in them whorls for these insects. A lot of fracas, so fancy term for worm poop, but a lot of fracas on this leaf, you can see there. Hopefully we can find one, uh, yep, yeah, there he is. Fairly large instar. Uh, he's been disturbed. He's trying to hide or get away, but you can see he's he's in that whorl. He's in a happy place. Plenty of food, plenty of water uh, within that whorl, and uh, he's just going to keep eating. Most likely, probably no additional friends at this time. Uh, one thing, uh, lepidopteran insects can be somewhat territorial. Uh, earworm especially um, are cannibalistic 
and uh, typically when they get to that large end star there's usually only one larvae within a corn plant but you can see how they've chewed across this inside the whorl and then when that leaf would come out and be expressed up above that's what a grower would see or anybody would see in the field that's what it looks like so usually by the time the damage is extremely visible they've been in there feeding for quite a while so thanks again for uh, watching and have a great and productive growing season